hey 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 sorry sorry for delay sorry for delay the guests like had some problem with the net but actually everything is okay he is already there we just need to to invite him in the in the live and we will start so this is our first live for 2022 i hope you will enjoy it as you you can see on the title it's about being black in china uh, being black in china is is like it's not like a gift it's not like very easy that's kind of easy but we have like we have those challenges we have those hard situation we need to survive in china and uh, from his experiences he will come here in this life and share with everyone everything we need to know that can help uh, each of us uh, during our life in China on how we can survive in China how we can earn some money in China all all those all those tips all those advices so if it's your first time on this channel uh, and you are looking for information for advices and opportunities uh, abroad you are at the right place at the right moments you, you just have to subscribe to the channel and you will have everything you you want and you will be satisfied i promise you so after this live you must be able to know what kind of business you can do in china while uh, you are studying you can be able to know what kind of work or be, or part part-time job you can do and you cannot do in china because you know job in china uh, is not allowed for students so with his experience you can know all those things and also you will know some reality that uh, you will never see maybe on the tv or on the net but only from people who always already experienced it in at the place so you have to watch i suggest you i advise you to watch this live till the end so that you can get as much as you can from this life so without wasting any time i just let me just invite our guest in in the live and he can introduce himself i don't want i will not introduce him when he came in he will introduce himself so yeah let me invite him i want to invite our guests wait a moment please at the same time, when he's coming, when he's coming, please, you you, you already know how we used to do. Uh, type in the comment section, what is your country? In which country are you watching this live? So you, you know, you already know, we just put our flag, put your country flag, and we will see which country will win today. And you know, myself, I represent Congo for two times, like two flags for me. So just put in your, your flag and okay he's coming <coughs> wait i'm um, to stream yeah i'm at the end yo, we yo. welcome can you can you hear me yeah i'm hearing you bro i'm hearing bro can you hear so me guys, so today we're going to discuss about the foreigner life in china I, can, I cannot hear you i cannot hear you you can are you hearing me now Wait, wait, wait. Can you hear me? I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. Yeah, yeah. Now, okay. Now, okay. 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 Uh, he's here. Let, let's let just leave him to introduce himself and we can keep doing our life. Yes. Okay. Hello, guys. I'm Abby. Like, in Liberia, everyone call me Abby Boy, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, I'm Woodrow Frederick Davis. So today we're going to be discussing about, you know, foreigner life in China, especially being a student. Yeah, that's all we're going to be discussing today. You know, actually being a foreigner, especially student and black in China is something kind of difficult, right? But mm -hmm. it's kind of challenging that you have to do your most to do whatever okay. you can to survive in China. And this is what we're going to be talking about today. So right now we just need you to subscribe to the channel to follow for more information about foreigners like travels abroad experience abroad and everything right so today i just want you to put your comments down below and tell what what is it you want to know about and then we can talk about it but today we're going to be discussing about 
like foreigners in China, how we live our life, and how to maintain your status in China. So that's how we're going to be talking about. So yeah. you can... Okay. So, mm -hmm. as, as he just said, how you, how, how you will maintain yourself in uh, your life, you will survive in China. It's, it will not be like that kind of life, just keep talking about school, about, about what, about studies, but how can you survive in China? Because we all we know that many people knows that China is that kind of business only for business, and when you come, you have like uh, a part of your mind is on business, and another one is on school. So, with your experience today, uh, we will we know how how will we uh, we will manage. So I don't know. Uh, I will go with questions, and we will keep doing. You will you will know how to to give us more informations. So at the first one. I want to I want to ask you, how is your level of satisfaction about China since you came to China? If you can like give us a summary, how uh, how are you satisfied of life in China? Yeah, bro. You know, actually, it's like uh, my level of certification is it's just kind of so so. Sometimes I feel discouraged. Sometimes I feel okay. But mm -hmm. no, in life, being a man. You gotta be strong. You gotta be strong. So that's it. Sometimes I feel discouraged. Like I don't, don't know what. Don't, to... don't, you don't need to afraid people. They don't need to afraid people. Don't start with that strong word. Strong word. Like we got. We gotta be strong. Like... <laughs> yeah. That's just it. That's just it. Sometimes you know. Sometimes I feel discouraged. But I know in life, like nothing good come easy. Nothing good mm -hmm. come easy. Yeah. Nothing come easy. Like you have to be strong as a man. Sometimes things get hard. Sometimes things get hard, like super hard. Sometimes things get super hard. Sometimes things get super hard, but you have to be strong. Like okay. every time, every time you know, you see some people who try to criticize because you were black or something, but you don't need to care about it. You don't need to care about it. But you got to be strong as a man to know where you're from and what you want to do. You want to make yourself proud. You want to make your family proud. So that just it. That just it. Especially okay, so we can we can say you 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 are, you are not complaining about anything, but you know everything you are living, everything you 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 you, you are facing is like uh, a part of your life to get you uh, at the place you want you want to be. So that's 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 great. And how uh can I what can I how can I say it? What can you say about your expectation when you came in China? Uh, you arrived. What was your expectation be, uh, before we enter in in our subject and I, I want to remind people because that he is from liberia he's from liberia he's a he, he's a liberia boy so how what how was your like your feelings your your expect your, your what you find and your ex expectation yeah you know actually when i was in liberia and i knew that i was coming to china mm -hmm. i felt like I felt like everything gonna be like okay, everything gonna be like bread and butter. Yeah, everything mm -hmm. gonna be like bread and butter, like everything gonna be easy, bro. Yeah. But for real, the moment I entered China, it wasn't what I expect. Like things went bad, like sometimes like, like how? Like how? Like how? Like, like how at the same time you 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 enter you you feel like everything will be hard. Yeah, I thought everything gonna be easy, you know. I thought everything gonna be easy, like you know, people going to be together, you know, like happy, like you will have money, you will have, you know, do all that shit. But bro, things got super hard. Things mm -hmm. got super hard. Like sometimes you live your, like, your life in China, like you are back in your own country. Like, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you even feel like, sometimes you even feel like, I think it was better for me being in my own country. Like, but mm -hmm. yeah, so that's it. Like sometimes you'll sit and, and you know, regret like, I wish I was in my own country so that I can know mm -hmm. how everything. I wish, I wish. That's magic word. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you did not have that that idea of some people who knows that maybe uh, we will find for we'll find like a place when we can just pick money. Uh, like there is a free as, place where we can find money as much as we want. We didn't have that that idea. I'm seeing one people from Liberia. Monica is there. Yeah, Monica Kenny, Monica, Monica. Yeah. Yeah, that's my friend. That's my friend Monica. That's my friend Monica. You know, okay. sometimes things go hard. Things go hard. Like, you know, we got, you know, we just you just gotta be strong. You just gotta be strong. Especially like 
for China, China got a lot of opportunities. Like in China, you cannot say, I can't do this. Yeah. You cannot say, I can't do this. Like for me, I, I'm going to share with, I mean, I, I, I'm going to share some of my secrets with you guys today. Yeah, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't share the secret now. Uh, don't share the secret now. But as you just say, you just mentioned opportunity. Uh, you know, when we, we live, when we, we, we are going to leave Africa, we, we have in mind that we are going to have those job, part-time job as a student. Can we work in China? Like, do we have those, those job opportunities in China as we are student uh, with, uh, with uh, I mean, with work, student visa? Can we work in China? It's kind of difficult. It's kind of difficult for you to work in China as a student. Yep. Like, once you have that student visa, you cannot mm -hmm. work. You cannot work. It. It's kind of difficult. You just got to be brave. You just got to be brave and try to be a man to work in China. That's the thing about it. But once you have that student visa, yeah. I'm sorry, you cannot work. Okay. Because you know, people respect that law and policy. They respect that law and policy that you just can't work. Once you have yeah. that student visa, you even okay. try to get a part-time job. They tell you that you have a student visa, you cannot work. So that's just but it. Yeah, but I mean, but there is some student who used to work who 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 got those jobs that that they are doing here. What what how did, do they manage uh, with the police with all those with the, their boss? There is not that kind of discrimination. Like uh, you do, I will not pay you your wage because if you just try to complain, I will inform the police that you are working. How yeah. how does it? So I want to tell you, I want I want to tell you about this, right? You know how it's like, like. If you are a foreigner and you want to work in a place, and then this boss will tell you that this work, and that boss know that boss know that this work is maybe like five thousand. Now, but that boss know that this work is like five thousand, and he mm -hmm. will tell you like because you are a student, you don't have a work visa. I will give you three thousand, mm -hmm. and you as a student, you want to make a little money to maintain yourself. You know, you got to do something on your own. You cannot call your parent back home. You know. Just tell them that mm -hmm. oh i want to get this you want to do something for yourself but you just gotta agree and take that two thousand but you know that you are working more than what you're getting than you what you get getting so so the work is five thousand <laughs> thousand but because their boss knows you are a foreigner and you have a student visa he knows that student don't work in china so they don't work mm -hmm. in china so he'll be like okay i'll give you two thousand three thousand it's not so, much so we can say we can advise to people that when they they find those kind of jobs they don't need to compare with other workers that to to say that this one is getting like 5000 and how uh, I'm earning only 2000 you just keep it because you accept you are not allowed it's like they can illegal work you are doing if you just try to 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 complain they can even uh inform the police that you're working and you can get in trouble. So the first one, you may work more than what you are earning. Is yes. that the reality? That's the reality about it. Like you are working in this place, you are working in this place and the boss, the boss will tell you that, the boss know that this work is maybe mm -hmm. about 5,000. It's about 5,000 and he will tell you that I will give you 2,000 and you are working there. And the day you try to complain about it, did they try to complain about it? And then when he tell the police, when he tell the police, it's not going to be his problem. It's going to be okay. your problem. So, it's and what if, what if, what if the police catch you? Uh, Chinese help will help you or they will just let you down? Oh, I want to tell you this, guys. I want to tell you this. Chinese people, Chinese people you see today, they will talk to you. They will talk to you every day, call you bro, call you sisters. But once you are in trouble, once you are in trouble, you need that help. Trust me. They will not be there for you. They will not. So they be are there. just. They are just friends. They are. Just, they, are, they are just your friend when they got something to to get from you. Uh, when yeah. you are doing something for to them, for them, please. Uh, when you are, they are learning English from you. They are. They are. That they are your friend. But when they, they are, when they need, when you need their help, they are not there. It's, they they they're not gonna be available. Like, I okay. I will tell you guys this story. Right. At yeah. certain point. I had a difficulties and you know by that time my Chinese was kind of kind of hard I never really used to speak Chinese and I, I wanted to go to the bank 
Mm -hmm. I had this friend who every time he would call me outside, we would play together, you know, have fun. You know, I had our difficulties and I, I really needed someone who could really speak Chinese to help me out. And then I called him, I was like, hey, hello, bro, what's up? I got some problem today. I really need you to help me out the bank or something. And he was like, oh, I'm sorry, man. I cannot help you today. I was like, bro, please, this is urgent. I really need your help, man. I really need your help. He was like, I'm sorry, bro. I cannot help you today. I try to make him understand that I really need your help. This is money matter. Like, I need money from the bank or something. Yeah, I really need your help. And my Chinese is not so good. I really need your help. He was like, I'm sorry, bro. I'm kind of basic. You know, he said it in that way. Like, he couldn't help me. I tried to convince him, but he couldn't help me. Okay, so, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, I think from this, I just want to tell everyone who just wants to come in China, when you come, don't put all your, your, your mind, don't rely on Chinese. You can keep uh, talking with, your, with, your, with other foreigners because there are those people who will come and help you when you get in trouble in China. I, I, of course, Chinese will help you like... When you 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 are you you are mislead, you lose your way, you you want to go to to a place except bank and police, that they, they will not be there. But if you want to go to the market, you want to 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 take like your, your your the taxi, they can help you. But there is those kind of problem like for bank problem, police problem, they will they, they will not be there to help you. I've never heard like someone told me that Chinese. Um, I went there with Chinese and they helped me. Uh, I have never. So oh. I, uh, you just say that you sometimes you, you you got a boss. You it seems like you are doing some stuff to to survive. Of course. Uh, so yeah. what kind of what kind of jobs of or stuff you can suggest to people because the, those offers will come. They will get opportunities. They will get like messages on WeChat, suggestion on WeChat. What kind of opportunities they need to accept and what kind they, they don't need to, to even read when they just see they skip? Yes, like, you know, in China, we got a lot of group chats that people... Hey, from Poema Mela, hey, hey, hey. Hi, you know, PM. Hi, Delphine. Here, How are you guys of, doing? I hope you're doing we well. Got, as, we got a lot of, you know, as a foreign, as a foreign student here, we always put ourselves in a lot of group chats, you know, to find some opportunities that after mm -hmm. graduation, you know, you can get something to do. Or maybe before graduation, you can get something to do while you are studying, right? But yeah. to be honest, there are a lot of scammers in China. There are a lot of scammers. Some of them are not even in China. Yeah. Some of them are in China. They will come out with a lot of fake jobs, opportunity. Like, some of them will come and tell you that I can change your visa, that... Mm -hmm a work visa that you can work in China because they all know that student cannot work in China. Student cannot, cannot work. So they try to, 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 to tell you, to show you that they will, they will make it easy for you, bring you a work visa. And for you, it will be like a big opportunity. And of course, of course when it's, it's the right person, when it's true, it's a big opportunity. But many of them, we, we just, we, they're scammers. They will try to scam you. Yes. So that's <laughs> it. Some of them will come and be like, I can give you, I can give you a visa that can make you work. You can give me this amount of dollar. Mm -hmm. I will help you to have a very good visa. You will have a work. But trust me, you don't need to believe all these people, right? Mm -hmm. Because the thing about it, you came here to go to school. You came here to go to school. That should be the first thing on your mind that, oh, I came here to go to school. You should remember that you came here to go to school. Everyone want to do something for themselves, right? Everyone want to do something for themselves. But you should not forget that you came here to go to school under no condition or consequences that you need to change your visa. Okay. Uh, my, that next question, my next question is this one. Uh, we all know that Chinese are not used to, to black people, to Africans. So how do you feel about the relationship of Chinese and, 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 and Africans? or foreigners or does it make it does it make like life our daily life our student daily life difficult does it affect uh, our facilities of life in china like the, this the, the relationship between chinese and africans does it affect in any any way uh, our way our daily life as a student in china oh 
for real, right? I want to tell you guys, like being black in China, especially like in the cities that don't have much foreigner. It's not like like Beijing, which is the capital city. Beijing, Guangzhou, Shanghai. You know these three cities, they got a lot of foreigners. So people don't really care about foreigners or black people. Like for the city I'm in, for the city I'm in, you know, there are just few foreigners in the city. Like sometimes they see you, they're afraid. Like sometimes, you know, when you walk in on the street and they just bust into you, they be like, wow. You know, mm -hmm. you be like And what what do you suggest? You you want people to go to the big city or just to, to look like there's there's small cities where Africans or black are not many. Uh, what is the difference in uh, regarding to job? Uh, if you want to talk about job, about opportunities to earn some money, what do you suggest to go to the big or those? I suggest that I suggest that when you want to come to China, it's better that you come to the small city. It's, yeah. it's better small city because they don't know about foreigners. And it's better that you come to the small city. When you come to the small city, when you have a job or something, you have a high press, like like a salary or something. You have a high press because they don't know much about foreigners. And once you are a student or something, like they know once you are a foreigner, they know that once a foreigner in China, when they try to work or something, that salary is very high. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for that, they're gonna respect you for that. They're gonna respect you for that. Don't care about what others may say that you are black or something. Don't care about it. Like for me, I'm running or I'm running a social media like almost like a TikTok, almost like yeah. a TikTok. It's like Chinese stuff, right? I'm running, I got, I got like, I, I, I can give you guys like to see how much followers I got. I got like almost 10,000 followers, right? I got yeah. more like 10,000 followers. There are a lot, but you know, I don't care. Some of them, sometimes when I post video or something, people would tell me all kinds of shit, like go back to Africa, this is not your home. But mm -hmm. actually I don't care because I know the reason why. You don't why. care, you know what you're looking for. Yeah, I know the reason Stay why. Focus. I, yeah, yeah. So I'm focused. You're not gonna comment on my post and tell me go back to Africa. You don't want to develop your country. Don't stay in our country. I don't care. Sometimes when I see their messages, I just delete it, or sometimes I just ignore it to be like because you know we gotta say and I say once you ignore a fool, it is a disgrace when you ignore a fool. <laughs> someone tell you know like when someone just tell you something and you don't let. <laughs> It is a disgrace. Like, yeah. you have to tell me whatever you want to say. And I, I'd like, I'm not even listening to you. Okay, and what? Okay, okay. Uh, so, we we all know that it's hard to to do those jobs. But do do you mean that there is no job, no business that for foreigners that you can suggest to people to? African that they can when they come in China they can get in they can do it and earn some money. What kind of business you can suggest to people as job are not are not allowed in China? So what kind of business you can okay you know guys to try to find? a few things there are a few things I'm gonna tell you guys that can help you build up your status in China mm -hmm. being a student. one yeah. in China things are not really expensive right things are not really expensive. You yeah. can have wait please topic. Abby. someone is asking is asking your your instagram you you will you you will you will just spell the the name okay and then i will take you i will send up my instagram i will send up my instagram i'll send up my instagram. yeah and later later i can put it also in my description so that they can even check the link and try to find you to get in touch with you okay because the, yeah, as yeah. I said, what kind of what kind of business you can suggest to people as jobs are not allowed in China? So what can you suggest? What kind of business people Africans can do? You know, actually, there are a few things that I'm going to tell you guys that people can do in China. That people that as a as a student you can do in China that you can successfully, like, because being in China is like four years. It's the like four years and. You need to, you need to, within that four years, within that four years, like, you know, some people don't know how it is being mm -hmm. a student in China, right? Sometimes, you know, some of your friends back home feel that once you are in China studying, everything is easy, everything is easy, but they don't know that sometimes we go through a lot of difficulties with your teachers, your friends, your classmates, sometimes things go very hard. Yeah, sometimes things go, sometimes things go very wrong. But 
that's something I want you guys to know. In China, things are not really expensive, right? Once you are in China, one of the best things that you need to do is you can buy things here and ship back to your country and sell mm -hmm. it. You can you can benefit from that. You can benefit from that. Like you buy things here, like almost every month you got a little money or something, you buy it and save it, buy it and save it. And then when you send it back to your country, you got some fact. You got some fact that once I go back, I know my, my family, my friends will know that I did something when I was in China. Mm -hmm. Yo, please, uh, from this, from this, from that studio, from what you just say now, I want to, I want to, to mention something because when some people try to get in touch with me, they used to ask me if I'm living in Guangzhou or in Yiwu. They think that I must be in Guangzhou or in Yiwu to do this kind of business. What can you say about it? No. So I will tell you this. I will tell you this, right? China is a country that full of technology. It's a country that's full of technology. You don't need to be in those big cities to buy something, right? You can say you can even stay in it, in it. I don't know how to say like in it. It's in the end in the central part of the city of <laughs> wherever in the city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once you want something, once you want something, you will get it. Once you want something, you will get it. And you know, one of the things regardless to your location, as soon you have network, you have your you have your phone, it's okay. Yeah. Once you have network, you have your phone, trust me, you will get whatever you want. And you know, one of the things I like about China, that technology is very good, like very good, like very good. Like you buy something, you will see where it is. You will see where it is. If it is, if it is like maybe 10 kilometers away from you, you will know where it is. Mm -hmm. And the thing about it is that if you're not going to stay here for long and then whatever you buy will come here maybe you're about to go home to you're about to go to another city today and then whatever you buy cannot come here today you can call the delivery person the person who is exporting your goods to you you can call them and tell them that oh i'm gonna be in another city can you transfer my goods to me trust me they will do it for you okay they can do so that we can, for we can trust chinese they we can they we can give them that uh that's level of trust Without, you can you get don't need to be there to, to deal with it, them. When it, comes to, when, it comes to, when it comes to that part, you can trust okay. them. Yeah. yeah, that's it. He's trying to explain to you what you need to do. You don't have to just look for, for job opportunity, for part-time job. But you can also you can also do your own business. Try to find try to find those those partner partnership with with trader in China so you can buy goods and send to Africa and you can earn some money. But of course, I think he, he would mention it later, but there is also those scammers on WeChat because students and uh, people even outside of China, they know that in this business, there is more money and they, they will try as much as they can to convince you to give you that's the cheapest price so that you can be like, uh, hoods and try to buy and get scammed. So you but you must to be also careful when you try to find those traders that uh want to you try to find those uh those place those markets you need to to get your your goods so that you can avoid those scammers. But trust me, as he said, in this business there is a lot of money. There is a lot of money. It's a big opportunities when you tr you get you take your time to to do research to find the good person to find the good market to to sell and to trade in africa and the most important is to be reliable try as much as you can to stay reliable with your people in africa yeah? make them to trust in you because you know china is full of of uh, is full of wrong of low quality of products so try to find best quality to your people try to find the good product for people to satisfy them and you will get more and more because uh, as i know uh, uh, from my experience yes of course we used to create instagram accounts to like to be marketing of our product but the best marketing i have ever experienced is the satisfied clients when you supply goods and someone is really satisfied you will get more more clients so abby keep keep doing i don't know you were saying something i just tried to to explain what i have 
Yeah. And I want to tell you guys one thing, mm-hmm. one of the secret, one of the secret in China yeah. being a foreigner and especially mm-hmm. a foreign student is that whenever someone asks you something, tell them that you can do it. Especially for sport or whatever, tell them that you can do it. Never like be see, a Kennedy in the same place. Like you see my tenor here. Like you see my <laughs> tenor here. He's an example, right? He's an example. He speaks French. He speaks French. His country don't speak English. But he know we had a job before that he was teaching English. We had a job before that he was teaching English. <laughs> And he know how much he got from it. He know how much he got from it. I just do it. Let's say I can do it. I trust. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. Trust yourself and believe that I can do it. Mm-hmm. I was in Liberia. I was in Liberia. I wasn't playing basketball every day. I could play basketball. I wasn't playing basketball every day. But the thing about it, I knew the rules of the games. I knew like everything about the game. I can play basketball, but I wasn't playing basketball every day. Uh-huh. But when I came to China, I started playing basketball. All the people saw me. They knew that I had some skills. They was like, bro, can you really play basketball? I was like, come on, man. I'm very good at basketball. <laughs> I'm very good. I even play for of my country. Of course you can. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, 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 the right the right sentence, the was the, the right word. Of course we can. <laughs> yes. So that's it. That's it. Someone asked me, like, bro, can you play basketball? Can you teach can you teach basketball? I was like, man, back in my country, I was I teaching can. basketball, man. I was teaching basketball. I'm a very good player. You got to make them know. You got to make them know that you can mm-hmm. do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and from that, that you and can do even, it. And when they ask you those things, they, it's not, it will not be hard. You just be there, follow what they need, just listen to them, ask them what you need, what you want me to do. They will tell you, and you just do it. Bro, and this is why we got YouTube. This is why we got YouTube, man. Bro, basketball, for me, I just play basketball. I don't know how to teach basketball. But I can remember my first part-time job I had. My first part-time job I had. Like one hour, I was getting like, 200 Chinese money, 200 Chinese money. Is, it was almost like a, almost like a maybe 25, 30 dollars, right? Almost like 25, so, Someone said, someone said you'll be lying to, you'll be lying to the Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, that's how it works. That's how, that's how it works. That's how it was. Like my first part-time job I had, like, I don't know how to teach basketball. All I do is just play basketball. I know the rules of the game. And I had this first opportunity. I had the first opportunity to teach basketball. And that yeah, night Abby, I spent Yeah. From this, yeah. from this, maybe we can also we can give like a summary of this one. Of of course we can. I can advise to everyone who wants to come to China, try to learn how to, how to do something. So guys, that's just it. You got to be smart. You got to be smart. Like everything, everything, you got to do what you can do. You don't got to be perfect in it. You don't need to be perfect in what whatever it is, but you got to be smart. Yeah, I'm you here. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. As I said, as I said, uh, people, you just, you just have to learn how to do something like playing music instrument to sing, to dance to play football all those talents will make you earn money in china it's very important and that's one you will have like show you will perform to to your school and you will get some money just learn to do something everything is is important even to shave even to shave everything is important in china bro yeah like whatever whatever you can do whatever you can do trust me You gonna make money of it. Whatever uh-huh. you can do, trust me, you gonna make money of it. That's why I'm, okay, I'm trying uh, to give you guys. I'm trying to give you guys. I'm trying to give you guys some some you know like some of my experience in China, like for basketball. For basketball, I can play basketball, but I I I I don't know how to teach basketball. I don't know how to teach basketball, right? Like mm-hmm. I have my first job, like. A friend of mine saw me. He knew that I can play basketball. So he was like, bro, can you teach basketball? 
I said, come on, man. I know how to teach basketball. I know the game. I can teach basketball. He was like, okay, next weekend, I got a part-time job for you. I was like, okay, man, I can do that. The following night, that's why we got YouTube. Trust me, YouTube can do whatever you want to do. <laughs> you can yes. learn from me. Yeah, okay, Abby, YouTube. please. I want, I want to ask you, I want to ask you this question. As you said, when we, we leave Africa, we know everything is easy. Uh, we will get money in very easily. Uh, what what can you say to these people who uh, who left Africa knowing that he will rely on part time job in China? Is it a good way? Is it can we uh, encourage him from this way of thinking or, or what? What can you say? If you just left Africa, you know I don't have anyone to support me in Africa, but I go. I know from part time job I can. I can stay uh, without any problem, without any issue in China. Okay, so this is it, right? So this is it. You know, back there, back there, like in our country, our home country, people feel that we are in China, everything is okay. But I will tell you today, it's not okay, like okay at all. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes we feel that we are all grown up, we don't need to ask back there, like, I need to buy this. I need, to, you know, like maybe your underwear or something. You don't need to ask your parents that you need to buy underwear. Yes, you need to be a man on your own to mm -hmm. decide and say, okay, I need to get a little money to buy myself an underwear, to buy myself a perfume or something. You don't need to ask about that. But the thing about it is that once you want to do a part time job or something, you got to be strong. You got to be strong. Like sometimes the Chinese people, they take advantage of you being a foreigner and being black and having a student visa. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also this one, uh, as we know, you just give us some, some ways to earn money, all those things. But also because we are trying to survive, but because when you survive, you need to look a way to find and try to see how you can spend in can you tell tell us like what are are those places that we spend more money that we can avoid if we want to really to survive in china or if you want to to die in two days or be broke in one day in china what are those places do you try to can you try to to tell us something about it like how do we spend money how do we lose money in china what is the okay, easiest guys, way guys. to lose money in china I want to tell you this, right? I want to tell you this. To lose money in China is very easy and to get money in China is very easy. But I will tell you this, one of the best ways to lose money, bro. I want to tell you guys, when you come to China, there's a place called KTV. KTV. <laughs> KTV, avoid KTV. Bro, once you come to China, the place is called KTV. Evoke TV. Okay, please, Abby, Abby, please, please. Before before we continue, uh, I'm thinking that someone is just come come late, but uh, asked a question. Uh, you you given you have already given uh, an answer, but he just asked: Is it true student can now cannot work in China? Can now work in China? Is this true that it's, can student now student can work in China? It's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. Students are not working in China. Students are not working in China. Some of the students that you see working in China, it's not legal. They are all doing it like undercover, like undercover, like the government don't know about it. Okay, this is the this is the next question. I hope you can see it. I post post it on the screen. Can you see it? Yes. Yeah, so was competition something? Oh, I want to tell you guys this. We had a school, we had a school tournament, right? We yeah. had a school tournament. We played football. We played football like I did all my best. I was one of the best goalkeeper, the best goalkeeper in the entire now match. Now? <laughs> the one of the okay. best goalkeeper with two goals. With two goals. The Chinese people just gave me a big cheap 
They didn't even put my name on it. They didn't even put my name on it. <laughs> they just gave it to me. They didn't even put my name on it. They just gave it to me. Bro, trust me. Your school don't give you money easily. Mm -hmm. apart, apart from you sometimes being lucky to have scholarship from them. But trust me, they just don't give you money easily. They just, they just give you shit, some, some shit, some certificates, some yeah, trophies that, that they go and on Pindodo. They just give you so that you yes. can keep in your house. And I want to tell you guys something. I want to tell you guys something. You see Chinese people, they can take you out to eat, to do whatever you want to play, whatever you want to do, they can do it for you. But they cannot give you actual money. They cannot give you actual money. They can take so, you out to do whatever you want to do, but to just mm -hmm. transfer you that money to your phone, they cannot they can, do it. They can't. They will never do it. You have a so friend. So that's what, that's what friend. I said. Don't come and, re and and say and put in your mind that you will rely on Chinese. No. Bad idea. Chinese? Never. Chinese people, Chinese people, trust me. Chinese people, trust me. Once it is about eating, it's about playing outside, they will always be there. But once you have some trouble, like probably you need a quick money or something, trust me, they will tell you that. <laughs> I, I can't do it. They will tell you that. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> I, I cannot do help it. you. They'll be like, I'm sorry, bro. Yeah. I can't help uh, you. Let's get, let's get back to, to the points. You said, uh, you said, yeah. There's someone say that their school does actually. So for them, for competition, when you win, you're a winner, you, you, you get some, some money, you get some chain, as we used to say. Yeah, it's possible. It's not that like maybe, maybe in your school, the, the, the that's kind of stuff stingy they don't want to to give money but in other school they can give but let's say that's not in every school they would give but some you will get some money so it's for you to be lucky and to be in in poema mela school so that you can earn money i think i need to come to school also because i can also play football yeah mm -hmm. actually yeah. so I... you, you you were saying you were saying about ktv ktv so I, I, apart from KTV, how can we lose? If um if I'm not that kind of person to who used to to hang out at night, how can I lose my money? How can I spend like that much? Okay, I will tell you guys this, right? I will tell you guys this, right? In China, for me, I'm someone who is very extroverted. I'm someone who is very extroverted, right? I got a lot of friends that. I'm in China like almost two and a half years, but yeah. my city I'm in, I know like everything about it. Mm -hmm. I know the clubs that when you go, once people see you as a foreigner, they know how to treat you. And then, yes, some of the clubs you go in, they would, they would, the money that they're going to ask you to pay just for the night to drink whatever you want to drink and be more than what you even pay your school fees. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the thing about it. The money that you can pay just to drink. And you know the thing about it? They can serve mm -hmm. you the drinks before they give you your bills. Money. They will not. You will not they will not receive some money from Chinese. As soon as yeah. you, you, you didn't do any work for them, you will not receive any money. Like sometimes, sometimes you will go to the club. Sometimes you will go to the club. Like They'll be like, okay, this is a foreigner. This is a foreigner. He prices different. Like, in China, I will tell you guys this. Once you go to a club that they know that you're a foreigner, it is your first time being in that club. Trust me. Your price is different. They're going to charge you different. It should be expensive or cheap? It's going to be super expensive, like super expensive. And it, you know the thing, that, the thing they will do? The thing, the thing they will do? Like, they will not give you your actual press. They will not give you your actual press why you are drinking like after you drink it and then you ask for the bill yeah. when they call press trust me you want to die yeah for this live we are not just talking about school because uh, we spend like six hours at school and the other 18 hours we are outside we can do wherever and we're just trying to tell you about those things that you can find you can face in the street you can maybe you some one day you will want to go to club 
this will help you or maybe one day you will try to go to shopping the this this advice will help you so it just those rules you know in the jungle you need to know uh where you you need you, you can pass and at which uh, place you don't need to enter to even enter how you can behave at this place and how you do at which place you don't need even to go yeah that's the the point of this life so i hope you are enjoying you are enjoying so we keep going we keep going so also uh abi uh, how how living in china affects yeah. your financial mentality how life in china affects your way of uh, uh dealing with money dealing with yeah with those things about economics uh financial okay i will tell you guys this right like yeah tell living, us, tell in, us, tell us, living in china right living in china make you feel like everything is kind of simple like since i've been in china it been so hard that i just hold money in my hand yeah that like i can't tell when last i ever heard like i held money in my hand like everything i'm using my phone like i go this place i need to use money for my phone or something like <laughs> like sometimes you know like sometimes i just don't even know how to use like the cash money anymore mm -hmm. because everything is just from my phone everything is just from my phone everything is just from my phone so i want to tell you guys like once you come to china don't try to use money from your hands when you use money from your hand people feel that you are rich because in china mm -hmm. people who use cash money they are the rich one they are rich mm -hmm. yeah in china so people who to... mm -hmm. so there is no it... there is no any there is no any um, disadvantage to have like money in your phone um yeah there's you you don't have that uh, that facility to spend much more because you know shopping online buying food online uh, what can you say okay. how what behavior can you advise people for this for this uh, behavior of having money of just keeping money on your phone how how do you manage to to contain yourself so that anytime you just go on pindodo you just you don't you you will not uh like be very hard to spend to buy good because you know it's cheap okay so i will tell you guys this right you know the thing the thing about it is that in china the government you know the government their economy make thing everything you know they make everything easy for everyone who live in the country when you go like probably on pindoto taobao you know these are all the website that people buy things on right they make you know mm -hmm. If you want to air Jordan, if you want to air Jordan, you go on Pindoto or Taobao. You will see yeah. a air Jordan. Trust me, you will see a air Jordan. But their prices. What do you do? You used different. to you used to hide it on your phone. You hide the, the application. You delete or what? How how, how do you manage? <laughs> Trust me, all you need to do is sometimes you just delete it, <laughs> like just delete it <laughs> for a while, so that you can. Uh, so what is uh, Abby? Please, Abby, tell us what is your your longest time you spend without buying anything on Pindodo or online? What is your longest time? The longest time I spent without buying things on Pindodo is when I was when I was trying to save money to get my mom a birthday gift. That was the time <laughs> I <laughs> because yeah, the thing about the, it is that in China, reason, trust me, yeah. in China, in China. Like once you have money, once you have money, the first application that you're gonna open is that app. The uh, shopping online shopping. Don't yes, open. once you have money. The first application that you're gonna open is that app. Mm -hmm. And that app, I wanna tell you that app is very evil. Like you go yeah, through... I've made I've made I've made a video about applications in China. So if you don't know uh which application is talking about you can just check out uh on our videos i have a video about applications in china we have many kinds of application you can buy goods online you can buy food online you can do whatever you want online so 
he's talking about those applications. So when you get some money from your parents, from your part-time job, from your work, you just earn some money, please, Abby, just address you, close it, put it far from you, far from your eyes, so that you can save some money. Because the point of this video is to help you to save your money to survive in China. <clears throat> and guys, I want to tell you this, some of the best way to save money in China to live, right? <clears throat> this is it. These are some of the secrets in China. You will have some friends. You have some friends, like, they will call you outside. Oh, bro, where are you? Come, I'm outside drinking at this place. Come, let's drink. They are not waiting to pay your transportation for you to come to where. And I want to tell you this. In China, when someone tell you that I'm right here, Trust me, it's about half an hour. When someone tell you that I'm right here, come to me. It's about half an hour, like 38 yeah. minutes, mm -hmm. 45 minutes, half an hour. Yeah, Abby, uh, uh, since we start, we, 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 we didn't even mention uh, how girls can earn money because we just say football, our talent, all those stuff, get some part-time job. Is there any way huh, that's... Uh, when you are a girl, you can earn money from meat. I don't know if okay. you know. I know you you a boy. I don't know. I know, but you 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 have you, you have some girlfriend. You have some friend who earn uh, earning money. So okay, can you try to give you us know, that Danny, secret? Let me, let me take it from right here, right? Mm -hmm. Being a foreign girl in China, being a foreign girl in China, you know it's kind of easy for you, like. The place that we first mentioned about, like the KTV, like the KTV, trust me, you can make a lot of money from the KTV being a foreign girl. Trust me. Like a night, you can make like almost 600, like the Chinese money, 600. And Danny, 600 Chinese money is, is like how many, how many it's dollars? Al almost, almost, almost 100 US dollar. Yes, it's almost 100 US dollar. It's almost 100 <laughs> US dollar. Like 600. All you need to do is just to drink with people, just to drink with them, just to drink to with be them. There, all just night. be there. They don't want you to do anything special. Don't your do presence, anything special. They're paying you for your time, for your presence. You are there. Yes. Just paying for your just, presence. You, all you need to do is to just drink with them. Just drink with mm -hmm. them. Play games with them. Whatever. They don't. <clears> they cannot. They cannot touch you or do anything different to you. For I know. I know some girls got their own privacy or something like I know some girls got their own privacy or something. But if yeah. you this mm -hmm. if you this girl and that guy who you are probably drinking with and he want to go extra mile, trust me, you're gonna make mad money from whatever he wanna do. Okay, Abby, please, you know, uh when we say we are saying that getting work from KTV, getting job from to, to go and teach, yeah, of course we know we already say that. It's not allowed, but how can we get those contacts at which, when do we know that we are at the right person to, to talk about business, uh, to talk about opportunities? How can we know? How do we find at which place do we need to go so that we know at this place I can find some people who can open for me doors of opportunities? Yeah. Is there any special place or special tips or advice you can give to people to about about it like getting contacts because you know in life the most important also is contacts when you get contacts you you get in touch with people you can like get more opportunities so how can we do it in china as you know people maybe sometimes they can fear you they can be afraid they can run away so how how do we manage okay so i will tell you guys this right in china Trust people that you see face to face. Trust people that you see face to face and people that you know where you can look to find them. Not online. Not people from online. In life, you don't trust anyone. But in China, mm -hmm. when you're trying to trust someone, when you're trying to get someone a little trust, trust people that you can see. People that you can see and you know that where you can go to find them. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of people that you should trust. That's it, really. People that you know that you can trust them. That's it. Okay. Because the thing about it, like, once it is okay, online, this trust is the me. right question. This is the right question. 
someone asked here, what if, I think she's talking about KTV, that's what you just say on KTV. What if you can't drink? I mean, she's, she, she's saying drink beer or drinking alcohol. What if you can't drink? What can you do? For me, at just first, I can just advise you. It's not my, it's not, it's not my own life. It's Abby's life. But I can advise you if you can, you can do a uh, girl's hair. It, it, you can earn money from it. Just trying to, okay. to do those special things for, for girls. You can even cook. I know some girls who cook. Africans food and try okay, to sell it I'll everywhere this, in China right? because okay, let me many take people right are here. looking for it. It's okay, not about you... it's, it's it's not about you being working in a KTV. But if you cannot drink, there are a lot of other opportunities that you can do. Like braiding hairs, like braiding hair, you can make a lot of money from it. You can make a lot of money from braiding hair. Just braiding hair, cooking, you can make a lot of money from it. Mm -hmm. You can braid someone yeah. hair and you make good money from just braiding a single hair. Yeah, as as hair. as it's repeating the same thing we just say, try to do something for you. Try to 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 use your talent, try to do something you can do good and put post it on your WeChat moments and people will say they will know what you are doing and you can get money from it. Just do what you can. If you cannot go to KTV, you cannot go to club, just do wherever you want. Uh, Try to use your talents. You can earn some some money from from it. Danny, you need to forward the link to me again. Someone want to join the live, but they, they they're not getting in. Is it uh <coughs> the link? What someone yeah. is will want to watch the live? You mean? Yeah, but they're not getting in. They're not getting in. They're not getting in. I don't know what's the problem. I don't know what the problem. Okay, let me try to resend. So. Keep giving your advice at the time I try to send to you the link. Yeah. <clears throat> so the thing about it is that in China, you need to be someone who is very good at what you can do or not good at what you can do. I'm not good at everything, but I will tell you guys, I can dance, I can sing, I can rap, I play basketball, I play football. I play football for my school. I play football for my school. I was one of the best goalkeeper. I was in Liberia. I wasn't playing football. Trust me, I wasn't playing football. I was in Liberia. I wasn't playing football. I was in Liberia. I wasn't playing football. I only play for my church. I only play for my church. Yeah, I wasn't playing for anyone else. But when I came to China, I decided to play for my school. I decided to play for my school and I became the best goalkeeper ever in the entire league, the entire school league, in my entire city. My entire city, I was one of the best goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Like, you just got to put yourself to do what you think you can do. Don't try to degrade yourself like, oh, I cannot do this, so I don't want to do it. No. You got to put yourself okay. in it. <clears throat> Believe in yourself that I can do this. And then this you can is my, do it. This is my next question. Uh, I'm trying to 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 be in people's head and try to think about at the place of everyone. We all know that China, I said it at the beginning, China is the business world. So, but you know that you came here for for studies. So how can you manage to to the, the two things like keep studying and keep doing business, trying to get in and the business because it's important to keep doing your study because maybe you can if you go 100% on business you can make money but you are losing uh, your score you are getting bad score in school and we know all the scholarship we get it will depend at the end at the end of the day to depend on your mark or your score and when you get low score you can even lose your scholarship and start paying school so how can we manage the two so that we will get the, the the two things we earn more earn money and keep doing in school okay so i want to tell you guys this right the thing about it is that being in china you got to be smart you don't need to play doll everything you're gonna you do be in china, smart yeah that's that's rule number one be smart be smart because the thing is that in China, people know that you got four years. You got four years to be in China to study. 
if you want to stay in China, like probably doing business or something to your country after you graduate, you don't need to wait for graduation before you say, oh, I want to stay in China. No, trust me, there will not be an opportunity for you. When you are in your third year, that's the time you need to start making opportunity to stay in China for another maybe four years or so. You don't need to go to school within that four years, but you need to like, I got a lot of I got a lot of friends who they all came here. They did bachelor, and then they graduated, and then they applied to another school just to they applied to another school on Chinese language on Chinese language. Like they applied to this school like I want to learn Chinese, and then they will give them one year visa. They will be in that school. They will be in that school with one year visa and trying to do what they can do. You'll be in that mm -hmm. school trying to do what they can do, and then they will find an opportunity and start to do something for their country, like doing business or doing business or so. When that one year is about to end, look for another school. Apply there. I yeah, want to yeah, learn. Yeah, you are, you are changing. You are changing school after school, city after cities. School yeah, after you are now school. Fixed. That's the, the problem. City is that after you, city, you, you just not like that. Brought it before, yeah. Yeah, so that's 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 what you're gonna be doing. You're gonna be changing school after school, city after city, city after city, just to do what you can do, like doing business in your country or something. Mm -hmm. So that's it. You gotta do what you can do to make yourself to be available to do what you can do for your country or whatever you wanna do for your country. That's it right there. Because okay. the thing about so, it. Let, we can say we can say that as soon you come of course you come for study but if you guess that's opportunity that's the way which uh which does not uh push you to stop studying you can keep doing it you can go and earn some money and go back and i know uh as you know or you, you know also that all those opportunities we used to get is in vacation is in our free time i remember only one time we get opportunity uh, we had exam the same day and we, we should have go to, to shoot the video, the advertised video. And the same day, uh, the, 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 our exam was planned. Do you remember? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you were lucky. The same day, they postponed the, the, the shooting. So we, 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 we were so lucky. But that's it. You can get those opportunities the day you have school. When you have exam, don't go for money. Money come, money go. Uh, keep doing first do your, your your studies then maybe the other opportunity will come and you can earn money again so that's it if you have any question about business in china about how to earn money in china you can still ask him you're going to the end of our life and if you have any question you can just post it in the comment section and and mr abby will ask will take that uh that time to ask you to 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 answer to yeah. give you a right answer to your question as we are going so if you have any question please put it in the comment section and he is reading yeah so if you have any question you put it down for me and then i will answer your question yeah he, he will answer he will answer the question and after don't forget he 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 he, he will send you your his instagram you can go and follow him ask him many questions the guy he, he's he's really in business if you want to do business even when you are out of china you can just contact him he will he will try to, to 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 give you some some information some news some tapes yeah some ways some good ways to earn money in china so that's it if you have any question you can ask and he will answer yeah abby what is the hardest work you have you, you have done in china the hardest one the hardest work i ever done in china was i did it with you i did it with you like in winter, <laughs> taking off your clothes like being in casual clothes under the snow to make a video that was one of the hardest work man <laughs> you know brain you know that day <laughs> The hardest work, I, you know, it was one of the hardest work I ever did in China, man. <laughs> like being, you know, man, being in the snow, man, to make a video. So you don't, and for that you don't need, you don't have to put your, 
your sweaters. You don't have to put your, your jackets. When it's the video time, you put your light clothes and you go and shoot. That's for money. That's one of the hardest things, man. That's one of the hardest things. Like sometimes you feel like I'm about to die. Yeah, also that's we can mention is also uh the, the way of the way Chinese pay people will be very different from from how Africans can pay. Like yeah, they can they, they will pay you according to the project. Don't don't yeah. regardless of the time you work, because as we can take an example for the shooting we did, I remember I had like only two sentences to, to say. And at the end of the day, I got like 800 uh, Chinese yen. Like for just five minutes, two minutes, I shoot the video and I get that money. That, that thing we can never, never meet in Africa. In Africa, to get like 100 US dollar, you have to work like one week. Who's, wow, what's who? a question? <laughs> what's a question? You see the question? Are you single? Is there a question or something? Is he single? Are you single? <laughs> who they asking yeah. about i think it should be you man i, I, I don't think i, I will, we will not answer just go maybe delphine we need, need to go to to your instagram to your to your to inbox and you can talk maybe you will not after if he's single or not but here or here we just talk about business <laughs> yeah that's it so if you have any there is no other question i'm going to thanks again abby to accept this invitation i know you used to watch the channel even if uh, I, i post the video in front i know you, you you have you you i know you got already some french words yeah thank you abby and also thanks to everyone who take time to 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 watch this live to participate on your question yeah only good vibes only good vibes you know watch opportunities after studies in China and which country is easy to go after study in China? Here we go. Okay, this question, what opportunity? What opportunity after studying in China? I want to tell you this. After studying in China, you can stay in China and have a better life, but you got to play smart. I want to tell you this. If you're not smart or if you're not brave, trust me, you cannot stay in China after graduation because You are in China for four years. You are in China for four years. Yeah, my phone is running low. You are in China for four years. You are in China for four years. You don't need to wait for that four years to reach before you try to get another opportunity. Trust me. When you are in your third year, try to get another school and apply. Yeah. That when you graduate, you can go to that school. But if you wait for the four year, trust me, you have to go back to your country. So what what he just want to tell you is it's hard to find a job a job like a full time job in China after graduation because you know China is full of engineers China is full of people who are looking for job so you 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 will be in competition with Chinese so it will be very hard for you to find a job so it's not impossible it's possible but you gonna you 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 have to be smart you have to be brave but also don't wait to finish your school so that you can start looking for job you can before you, you even finish like one year before keep doing trying to create your own opportunities try to find your to to get in touch with people that can can connect with with can connect you with all those companies so you have to be smart don't wait for the day after you graduate after your graduation so that you can start looking for job that's one will be hard for you and about which country is easy to go after study in china this one is 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 really open question because it depends on you after study in china you can go wherever you want Bro, it's about after your study person. after study in china mm -hmm. it's all everything gonna be your own decision like where to go or yeah. where to stay that one is up to you but i want to tell you something if you want to stay in china trust me You got to be smart. You got to be hardworking to stay in China. That's it. Yeah, so that's yeah, let's my finish, advice. Let's finish with this question. Some people also say that if you want to stay in China, try to marry a Chinese. Is it true or, or, or wrong? Yeah. If you want to stay in China, if you want to stay in China, like being staying in China, try to marry a Chinese person. But yeah, that's what I, I don't think. Easy. 
maybe I don't think maybe that's the kind of way next, like me. Yeah, maybe in the next video, in the next live, we can talk about how can you marry a Chinese, what process you need to go through if you want to marry yeah, the next a Chinese. Video, in the so, next video, we can uh, discuss about that. I think we are at the end of our live. Thank you for everyone who joined. We are okay. Very thank happy you, guys. To have you. I See hope you next you time. The live. I will add uh, Abby's Instagram in the description. You can get in touch with him. You can PM him, and he will get the time to answer you and ask everything you want. You can ask questions, suggest him businesses. Okay. He can. He's See. there. He's free. He's ready. You guys, to, take care. To, to, to See you next time. Collaborate with you. So thank you for everyone. Thank you, Abby. Uh, I hope to see you soon again. Okay, bro. I, I I've seen some, even someone say you brought the good vibe here. So thank you, thank you. At the end of our life, it was experiences abroad. It was Abby, our guest. He's living in China two years and a half now. And I hope you enjoy and hope to see you soon in the next video in the next live. And if it's it, it if it was your first time here please like subscribe and share this video i hope many people even if you are not in china this video will be helpful for you you will know what kind of business you you, you have to do in china how you need to behave with chinese because as abby said they can be your friend they can give you wherever you want but as soon as you get in trouble of work police catch you they will not help you so please share this video with your friends with your friends in china or out of china this video will be helpful for them. So thank you for watching. And I just say, see you soon in the next video.